Uh, what I'd like to do, if I may, is to start first of all with uh, Amina Tature, because uh, she brings a, a perspective of having thought about these issues uh, and dealt with them in different ways uh, in, in Senegal. And so, uh, Madame Touré, if I could start with you, and then we'll go further. Thank you very much. Well, it's always a pleasure to be here. Um, so, we're talking about a fragmented world. Um, I think societies themselves are fragmented, whether you're from a wealthy country or a less wealthy country. And that's the first thing that we need to acknowledge, that even in wealthy country, you do have people who feel left, um, you know, on the, on, on, on the side. Uh, internationally, when we talk about um, international development, we have to reshuffle our concept. Um, theoretically, China is supposed to still be a developing country, by the way, <laughs> which I think doesn't uh, meet the criteria. Um, to say that um, we live in a world where we really need to uh, stop and maybe offer a new new length um, to analyze it. Um, I think there is um, sort of a, a, a history in the making, uh, in a painful way most of the time. But what we are witnessing from where I'm sitting, which is Africa, uh, let's remember that it's 54 countries. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important grouping. Um, that's where uh, maybe the, the future of nutrition will be decided because you do have 60% uh, of available land. Um, you do have the youngest um, population in the world. You have huge resources. Um, so you cannot talk about the future without having a deep analysis about what's going on in Africa. And what is going on in Africa is sort of a, a, a mixture of um, concern first, of course. Um, I'm from West Africa, concern about security. Um, and we know what's going on in the Sahel, what happened between um, the former colonial power but became a partner, and the relationship is not necessarily going well in, in Mali and Niger and Chad. Um, you do have new generation coming to power in you know, questionable ways, for sure, but they are there. And how are we going to um, sort of make sure that we do have international development uh, along the side of international institution that works and partners who trust themselves. Because I think we are in a mix of a trust crisis uh, among international partners, among countries who were under um, you know, colonial um, sort of power and moved on 60 years down the line, developing different relationships. Some people are saying, well, it's not that different between you know, Africa and its uh, former partners. So I think there is also from the other um, side, um, a, a new way of looking at things. And secondly, we do have, as I said, the youngest population in the world. Um, so how are you going to make sure that that population is uh, more of an asset rather than um, a, a, a liability, because liability also concern our partners with international migrations and uh, and even securities and all these things. So I think what we really need to think about is what could be the solutions to make sure that we converge, uh, you know, together and we define a civilized world. Um, first of all, I think we have to think about the United Nations that is weaker and weaker. Um, international cooperation is uh, occurring outside of uh, the United Nations that is still um, uh, struggling to find even funding. We saw how, sorry to say, little relevant they have been in the Ukraine crisis, for instance, but in other crises too. Um, you know, I was talking about the Sahel and other places, but I think we need to give stronger teeth um, to the United Nations first. Second, I think we need to open up uh, the leadership. As we speak, I say, talk about 54 countries, African countries, and no permanent seat. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, 
you know, taking into consideration what I said before. So second, um, making sure that an important part of the world is part of the Security Council. Um, I think we need to redefine relationship between former colonial powers and um, current developing countries. Um, I, for instance, acknowledging what happened uh, you know, across history um, and maybe trying to make it right. Um, I see that in some countries, you know, after the, uh, the, 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 the Johnson um, um, events two years back, that many countries are looking into their colonial history and trying to sort of make it right, as I said. Um, and also having a genuine uh, international cooperation, which means that we're going to look uh, genuinely into um, into young people's rights, into women's rights, um, and we're going to make sure that on a solidarity basis, we are going together to define um, common goals and accomplish it, which means also that countries uh, who pledge uh, financially uh, should come to the, to the pot, which is not the case. And of course, you cannot talk about fragmented, um, a, a fragmented world without talking about climate change. Um, we have hopes that after Salman Sheikh, we will really, really, really see genuine, genuine uh, movement uh, toward making um, sort of uh, the financial pledges a reality. So that's what I wanted to say at this point. Um, let's look into the solution because the problem, we know them and we saw the solution. We, we saw the, the, the problem, we know them. So now we should focus on the solution and the solution for me is a more um, unified vision, uh, putting human being at the center. Uh, and I know we have a lot of people coming from the, um, from the private sector, which is important. And I think private sector should look again into their practices because you only do business when you have peace, uh, when, you have, when you don't have unrest, when you have consumers who are healthy, um, because nobody's made doing business in, in Ukraine anyway, uh, or in many other places um, uh, that we don't talk about. That brings also the issue of forgotten conflicts um, that goes over time and the, sent and the, the feeling that, um, you know, it depends on where you sit on the planet for your conflict. Right. Um, to be recognized and solution uh, brought up for peace to come back. So I think it brings back the whole issue, common issue of women, of human rights. We are all human fellows. Um, so we have a common planet that we want to work and live in and be loved and <laughs> etc. So maybe if we go, we start by the end, uh, we may find ways to converge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for starting us off, and, and thank you for saying that you know, maybe we've described the problem often enough, but we need to focus on what are the ways not just to define the solutions, but also to make the bridge to the solutions. How do we create the conditions so that the solutions actually become uh, real? So